England's opening game against Mexico is now within touching distance. Uh, so do you feel the team are well prepared? I think so. I think um, we've covered everything quite extensively. Um, we've got a lot of detail on Mexico. We've, we've shared everything we can with the players. Um, they've taken it on board. Um, they understand, I guess, what's expected in terms of how Mexico will approach the game. Um, so are we well prepared as well as we can be? So hopefully that will come to fruition in the game tomorrow. How does the period just before the first game compare with when you're in the midst of the tournament? Um, I think a little bit of anxiety. I think now at this point players just want to play the game. Um, we've been in camp now a week um, in, in Germany. Before that we were in, um, in Leicester for a week. So the build-up has been quite a long period. So I think the players are just kind of raring to go and, and want to get the first game, get into it, hopefully get a good result and then go from there. On the face of it, England's group may look kinder than in the 2007 World Cup in China when you had not only Japan but Germany as well. How do you assess the strength of this group? I think since then, I think we have to respect the fact that the, the teams globally have got better. The gaps between the very best and the rest have certainly narrowed. I think if you look at Japan, they're ranked higher than we are. If you look at Mexico, they also beat the USA. New Zealand, we, we drew with them in Korea. So the group is actually quite tough, even though we're quite pleased with the, the draw. I mean, it could have been far worse, but the group is tough. And I don't think, it, it's not like it was in 2007, where it, I think, was you know, more predictable than it is now. So I think all the games in every group, they're all going to be challenging. Um, it's not a foregone conclusion who's going to get out of the group. So I, just, I think that just shows the levels of women's football, how they've increased, and the fact that it is actually quite a tough group. So is the target to finish top, or is it really just about qualifying from the group? I think our priority is to get out of the group, first and foremost. If we don't get out of the group, we then go home, we're no longer in the competition. Ideally, of course, we would like to finish top. Um, that just because we, we kind of look at it and think, well, the favourites in the other group, Germany, are they going to finish top? You'd think so on, on previous records. But as I said, there's no guarantee. You know, Canada are on form. You know, who knows, there could be an upset there. But I think our priority definitely to get out of the group. If we can finish top, then that would be great. But definitely to get out of it. You've only ever played Mexico once before, and that was a fairly comfortable 5-1 victory. They're also ranked 25th in the world at the moment. So is there a danger of thinking that you should win this game? I don't think, I think there is, the, the, the public perception would be that, but um, certainly if anybody's been, you know, watching the results of Mexico, watching Arizona, as I said, they qualified um, for this World Cup having beaten USA 2-1. So, I mean, we can't take anything for granted. They are a good side and I've looked at them, we've had them looked at about six or seven times and actually they have vastly improved. I know Leo very well, he, he's a great coach. Um, great understanding of the game. The players, you know, they have an appetite now um, to do well in competition, having beaten the USA. So it, it will be tough, you know, and we can't take that for granted. We have to respect how far they've come in this period of time and make sure we're ready for it. At nine of the 11 players that started your opening game in the previous World Cup are with you once again. So how big a factor will their experience be? I think it's important. I think that they, it's important that they remember that and take those experiences into certainly the game on Monday, but more importantly, the tournament. Um, I think it's great because they would have experienced quite a big stage. A lot of them were there in 2007 and hopefully that will hold them in good stead. And, you know, they'll be able to cope with the atmosphere, um, the expectation and all of those things that sometimes it causes players a problem. But hopefully there's enough experience to cope with that. As well as being your first choice captain, Faye White's experience, as you said, could be vital in a game like this. Her recent return from injury, has it been a race to get her fit for this game? To be honest, yes it has, but um, Faye always seems to get injured before a major tournament and uh, does really well. I have no, no issues with, with um, her capabilities and her desires to play. She has, she has put herself in a position to give herself the best possible position of doing well. 
um, and she worked really, really hard. And uh, I think you can only admire her, I don't know, her, her tenacity, her will to be part of this. Um, and she's looked really good in training, she's worked hard, she's fine, she's fit and she's eager to go. So I think we have to applaud that. And finally, Hope, you've managed England for over 13 years now. Oh my God. <laughs> Has your individual approach and style changed at all when coming into a major tournament? Um, I, I think it's more about you know what to expect and it, it makes managing the whole environment that much easier. Um, unlike China, which was the first time in 12 years that you know the distance, the country, the expectation, what were we going into was, was very, very new. Certainly new for me, I've done it as a player, but this is, is completely different. Actually, we work a lot harder than the players, so I have to have that on record. Um, but um, I think having been to China, have, we went to the Euros in 2001, been to China, uh, been to Finland, and now this, this tournament, it's, it's more relaxed because we know what to expect. The staff are very experienced, and I think that relaxes the players because they feel confident in what we're doing. So it is easier, I'm more relaxed, um, and just, you know, like the players, I want to enjoy it.